To use the gas exchange system, you need to calibrate the carbon dioxide gas analyzer first. This has already been performed for you, but you should understand how it's done. You'll need an airline and a source of carbon dioxide at 1000 parts per million. Begin by attaching the airline to the inflow port at the bottom of the flow meter. Next, attach a carbon dioxide scrubbing column. This is filled with soda lime and will remove all the carbon dioxide from the air. Attach the outflow from the flow meter to one end of the scrubbing column and the other end to the CO2 gas analyzer. Use an inline filter to prevent dust from entering the gas analyzer. Turn on the air and make sure the flow rate is set to 600 milliliters per minute. You should see the carbon dioxide levels decrease. While you're waiting for the carbon dioxide levels to stabilize, it's a good time to check and make sure the gas analyzer is set to the 2000 parts per million range. Once the reading has stabilized, use a small screwdriver to set the reading to zero. If your zero reading on the carbon dioxide sensor is off by a lot, you should use the coarse adjustment screw at the back of the sensor. Use the coarse zero to get the reading closer to zero. Use the fine adjust on the front of the gas analyzer to set it the rest of the way to zero. Now turn off the air and remove the carbon dioxide scrubbing column. Attach the outflow from the flow meter to the gas analyzer. Now attach this carbon dioxide source to the inflow of the flow meter. Turn on the carbon dioxide and adjust the flow rate to 600 milliliters per minute if needed. You should see the reading on the gas analyzer increase. Wait for it to stabilize. Here the reading has stabilized to 1001 parts per million, which is close enough. If the reading is significantly higher or lower than 1000 parts per million, Use the little screwdriver and the carbon dioxide span screw to adjust it to 1000 parts per million. Now turn off the carbon dioxide and reconnect the carbon dioxide scrubbing column and the air line. Turn on the air and adjust the flow meter if needed. The reading on the gas analyzer should decrease back to zero. If it is not zero, then you will need to repeat the calibration process. Wait for the reading to stabilize. Here the reading has stabilized at zero, so it's good to go. 
This demonstration was done using a newer version of the carbon dioxide gas analyzer, but you should be familiar with the older version as well. It has all the same features as the newer model, including the carbon dioxide span, the fine zero, the coarse zero, and a toggle switch to change between 500 and 2000 parts per million.